All right, so here's how we're going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and read the chapter. I haven't read it yet, but I'm going to go read the chapter. You go read the chapter too, and then as soon as we come back, we're going to I'm going to discuss it. But uh, that's how we're going to do this from now on. Because if you haven't watched the uh, video explaining why every other video is gone, this is why. This is Yotsuba's chapter, part two of the last day of the festival. I'm expecting a kiss, but going into this, I'm expecting a kiss, of course. I don't know what else to expect. I don't, I don't know how this is going to play out, so, so I will see y'all in a bit. Wow, okay, so a lot to discuss here. Starting from the top... Freaking that that chick that, that came back into Futaro's life. She knew who Yotsuba was because she kept showing he kept showing her the picture of it. He would he would not let her forget. He was never gonna forget that girl. He was never gonna forget the girl he thought was Rena. But the part that got me Okay, whenever she got to the part about who played her her part in the play because she wasn't able to make it. I was not expecting it to be that chick from the friggin' uh, track team. I was like, what? No way! Oh, that was such a great surprise. And then when everyone started coming together to um, uh, make, make sure everything went out of hitch because Yotsuba helped everyone. And now they, they're like, return the favor. I was like, I was crying. I was legitimately crying. I was like, oh my god. And then Futaro says, depend on me. I'm one of the people you've helped too. Futaro sort of... This went down differently than I thought it was. I thought it was going to go down as Futaro uh, goes and sees her at the hospital and they have this moment. But no, she shows up on the staircase uh, after he's been doing her part. And he doesn't know it's her. He just knows that that's Rena, And he's just like, oh yeah, that's totally Rena." He's like, man, you again? Shoo, girl, come back some other time. I ain't gonna deal with you right now. And that's that's not even a shock because Rena in the past has been awful to him. I'll be honest with you, that kiss, that kiss was a uh, a little lacking. I'm gonna say the word lacking because uh, I I built up a lot of anticipation towards Yotsuba's kiss, but yeah, no, nothing. It didn't it it didn't have that impact factor you know it, it needed it needed impact but the thing with yotsuba's arc is that it had to be soft because she she was overcoming the past she had to let go of those memories and if you looked at the manga god she is crying she doesn't want to let go but she has to and she knows she won't be happy until she moves forward and that's really the hardest part about this entire thing for her is that yotsuba in the end is just the most kind-hearted and selfless of all the quintuplets and that is why i love her and that is why she is number three right behind miko and nino I, I will be honest, her and Nino might actually be tied with just just this one scene where she's crying. I, I genuinely wish I could show you this. She just wanted to make one more final memory, and she did it. And she's tired of being weighed down by the past, and she finally admitted he she didn't need him to know that she was Rena. He just needed to know that Rena was there and that Rena gave him the kiss. And that's the thing. Futaro doesn't know that it was, in fact, Yotsuba that gave him the kiss, which is a little bit hard to tell because, you know, his reaction to the kiss is a bit, is a bit, because we know, you know, when we're, when we're almost done, when we're done with Iski's arc, we're going to go back and look at all the kisses. And he thought it was all just a dream, you know, he's like, oh my god, it's Rena. But he comes back to it and, you know, the final lines, you don't have to worry anymore, is just... Wow. I mean, in, in the in the reading of it, it worked so well, and in Yotsuba's case, it worked fantastically well, and she did an amazing, she had an amazing arc. I'm very, very happy that we got through to hers. Um, if you noticed, uh, I'm gonna point this out, in the first slide, volume 12 comes out on 11.15, and I was like, what? No way! And it's Futaro. Futaro is on the cover of the next volume. Oh, that's so exciting. I don't know why. It's And he's in his wedding outfit. 
th- we are coming to a close here soon, I think. <laughs> or we should be. Oh, All we got is Itsuki left. With that, Yotsuba's arc of the last day of the festival is complete. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really like this chapter. This chapter was really good. It was, it was really fun to read. I had a great time with it. And we are done with Ichika, Nino, Miku, and now Yotsuba. I am both excited and terrified to know what's going to happen within these next few chapters. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this chapter. Uh, does this format work for y'all? I, I, like, I kind of like it. But um, let me know what y'all think. Uh, I'm really, I'm really glad I'm coming back with these chapters because um, uh, it was kind of hard after we lost uh, all those videos. But you know what? I'm gonna keep chugging along. We're gonna move on forward because the quintessential quintuplets is a series that I absolutely adore, and I don't want to give up on it. Thank you all for the support that you've been giving me too. I, I cannot thank you enough for that. So until next week when we start Iski's chapter. I'm out. Peace. See ya. Yes, my master. Yes, my master.